Hello, Libra Nation. Welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela. For those of you who are brand new to my channel, let's get into this. So what we're going to do, Libras, we're going to start with the couples and see what's going on with the couples. And then we're going to switch gears and look into the singles. And then finally, we're going to look into what's going on for those of you who are getting to know somebody and you're wanting to know if this is going to take off. Is it um worth your time getting to know somebody and then finally we're going to get into the general part of your reading so with that libra nation let's get right into this holy spirit show me what's going on for the libras sun moon rising and venus speaking of venus some of you could be a libra venus you could be dealing with a libra venus but the point is Venus is a central part of your reading. So no doubt, Libra, this highlights your own energy in the reading. And it also highlights maybe a Taurian individual or somebody with dominant Taurus in their chart. <sighs> All right. Let's get into this, Libra. Let's see what's going on for you couples. So Libra, no doubt. There could be an Aries that's significant to your life. This could be let me just keep shuffling and see what I see because I see something here. Some of you could be married with children or some of you did I say yep I sure did say a Taurus. But for some of you, this could be a Capricorn or a Virgo. No doubt, though. Some of you could be mixed up with an, an, with an, an, an Earth sign, but I can't let go of Taurus. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. So we got an unhappily married man or woman in the picture that doesn't know whether or not they want to be in a relationship. May want to return to somebody from their past. They could be dealing with um an ex of theirs or for some of you your relationship may have ended in betrayal because it does look to me that somebody is unhappily married in this scenario or in an unhappy relationship this could be somebody that you have a very spiritual bond with a very spiritual connection um and maybe you're allowing yourself to that's probably why libra and taurus here like you guys may mirror one another you may be able to see a part of yourself in this person, whether this is negative or positive. But I'm feeling like there could be somebody because it does look like you guys are on the outs or you guys may have already ended this. And if so, I feel like there could be somebody coming back to you. Your partner could be coming back to you. And for some of you, you may have an ex coming back to you that may kind of throw off the situation. Um, but I'm feeling like some of you may gravitate to somebody that treats you like royalty. Because right now you might feel like your mate is very disrespectful and they may be using their words as weapons right now. There could definitely be some deception surrounding you and this could be something that you're concerned about. Because you may feel like you're dealing with someone who's very smug and very, um, a bit selfish around this time. They may be only focused on themselves and no doubt, like I said, there is there are lies surrounding the situation to the point that these lies may break this relationship entirely. If this hasn't happened already, then I'm feeling like you guys are headed for a breakup. And for some of you, you are already in separation over lies and betrayal having to do with possibly somebody else that's interfering. For some of you, a Scorpio is highlighted. Somebody may feel that you're blowing them off, blowing off their communication, or you just may have simply blocked them all together and there could be an Aquarius involved in the scenario. Yeah, there's a breakup. Some of you may be breaking up possibly over a fire sign individual. And no doubt, somebody is very sneaky in the scenario. Okay, so that fire sign here could definitely be a Sagittarius. It looks like the intimacy is kind of either lackluster or it's non-existent between the two of you. And that could be a part of why somebody's lying because they may be sleeping with somebody else. 
that could be married or is coupled. Or like I said, for some of you, there, there's an ex involved in the picture. For some of you, if it's not you that they have a sacred bond with, they may feel like they have a sacred bond with somebody else other than you. See, this might not be a new situation. This might be a repeat of a situation. This might be somebody that goes back and forth between you and somebody else. Like I said, that they feel that they have a sacred bond with. For some of you, that is the case. Somebody gives them this, that feel, causes them to feel very esteemed or feel like they're definitely put on a pedestal. They may feel, a, they might feel like they're, it's either with you that they might feel like at once upon a time that you this was like a very magical type of relationship. Let me see. Let's let's delve into what's really going on here. Let's pull in some details. Yep, that's exactly what I suspected. There's a karmic relationship. For some of you, like I said, this could be a karmic relationship that you're in or they may be gravitating to someone else that they have a karmic relationship with. It's just kind of, it's gonna vary from person to person, but that's what it is. It's like, there's a lot of triggers here and a lot of resentments in this relationship. And somebody doesn't know where they wanna be. So that's why I'm getting the sense that they are like going back and forth between the two of you. When things get rough between the two of you, they run to this other person like somebody has self-esteem issues and they're looking outside of themselves for esteem and edification because they're not able to find it within themselves. I don't know where, where that's coming from, but some of you could be dealing with a Libra on the Virgo cusp because I get earth very strong here, but I also get Libra very strong here. For some of you guys, if you are dealing with a Libra or another air sign, no doubt there is deception surrounding this person and a lot of disrespect and a lot of personal deep-seated issues. It's just a matter of time before you do find out, before you get that clarity that you need. But right now, it might look like things might look a little bit hazy between the two of you. You may be suspecting something, but you can't quite put your finger on it type of thing about what's really going on. Are they cheating? Are they just staying later at work type of thing? Or, you know, but trust and believe it's like somebody's deceptive. Their actions are very deceptive. For some of you, if I didn't say it already, this is a Capricorn, but there's something weird going on and the vibe between the two of you is off. You guys may have been fighting more than usual. Like I said, somebody uses their words as a weapon, not just as a means of communication. Like this person goes for the jugular or this could just be the, the, the common energy between the two of you right now where that's just where you are in the relationship, not getting along. Some of you can't seem to find a way out of this situation. See, this is what's throwing me off, Ten of Cups. Like I said, you might have like a fairy tale romance with somebody, or maybe it just seemed like that at, at first. And you may be coming to realize that the person that you thought was going to be there for you, the person that seemed your, per your partner that just seemed like they were, were ready for this and ready to give you this real, genuine, stable type of relationship, their actions may soon betray you. And you may get to notice that your partner is not really ready to settle down. And that maybe you guys, the timing is just off with this relationship. Bottom line is someone's confusion and somebody's back and forth behavior or back and forth nature is going to lead this relationship to break. It might just, somebody's returning to somebody that they dealt with in the past because um, they're kind of bored in this relationship and, and the monotony and the the everyday type of Monday, like it's like the, the novelty has worn off of this relationship. That fairy tale, once upon a time, in paradise thing is kind of like fleeting at this time and again somebody could be lashing out could be talking about you behind your back because it looks like they have to make a decision and you could be dealing with some depression or your person is very depressed and kind of masks that depression by i don't know like projecting their insecurities off on you Yeah, 
you guys are fighting. You guys are stuck in this loop when it comes to fighting. You guys may not fight and argue to like um, resolve issues. You guys are, are just arguing about the same things. Things never get re resolved, but it looks like you're still holding on to the relationship, even though you're like seeing that it's just not working out. I got something similar for Virgo. Like some of you may be completely aware that there's a third party situation, but you're not wanting to let it go. There's some things that you're thinking about. Like you're thinking about something, you're preoccupied about something. You're thinking about something, but you're not saying it. You're kind of keeping your words to yourself or stuffing your words down. Yeah, it's like somebody is so selfish. You realize that the relationship is over, but you're just kind of sticking it out. Because it's like now you're thrown off. You're like, I don't know if I should stay or go. I don't, they don't know whether they should stay or go. You don't know where you should stay or go. So you're just, yes, you're in this very hazy place right now, this gray area. Possibly, like I said, with a Scorpio. So there could be a confession. This could be like an, an inadvertent type of confession where this person doesn't mean to confess, confess something to you or they just directly flat out confess something to you possibly in an argument somebody like did, did i say it somebody's gossiping about you could be talking to to you talking about you to this other person talking like complaining about this relationship because trust and believe somebody's in their ear or vice versa Hmm, they'll be back. Or like I said, two storylines. They may leave, yes, but either way, if they're leaving to be in a karmic relationship, they're gonna be back. You guys are taking a break from this relationship. And in the meantime, you're blocking this person. There's somebody that is extremely jealous in this scenario. And I got something similar for Sagittarius. And no doubt there's an obvious Sagittarius that pops up in this spread. Uh, for some of you that you have a Sag or somebody with strong Sag in their chart. Anyway, it looks like, yeah, you're going to be trying to work on yourself and heal from this, this, um, this pain, this um, heartbreak that you've been dealing with and getting out of a toxic relationship. And um, it looks like somebody may need to go deal with their addictions because it looks like, like I said, somebody masks their insecurities by drug abuse or um, a lot of drinking. And it could be a Leo individual. Um, and somebody could have like a baby's mom type of situation they may be dealing with a baby's mom. Or like I said, you may have children with somebody. They have kids with you too. Anyway, regardless of children, some of you may have children in this scenario, some of you may not. The bottom line is this may break apart. And in the meantime, you may be trying to figure out what it is that you want because it's clear that both of you guys are confused or that somebody doesn't know where they wanna be. One of you is confused about whether or not you wanna be with somebody else and the other one of you is confused about whether or not um, you wanna stay, and even though you may com be completely aware of what's going on in your relationship. Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio is relevant to your picture. Yeah, there are kids here for some of you guys. You already know that the you already know what's going on. You already know that the relationship is on its last leg and falling apart. Now I'm feeling like what's coming up, if it hasn't reached you yet, if it hasn't dawned on you, clarity is coming in. The truth is going to come in, or like I said, a revelation. And with this revelation, it has everything to do with a confession. I'm also seeing a need to put protection around you. And whenever I pick that up, it has something to do with spell work. And that's not going to be the case for all, but I know I've been getting that for Libra for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Libra, let's see. Libra. 
already shaping itself to form. Yeah, you, bottom line is you guys have a choice to make and somebody has a truth to speak. The onus is on somebody to be honest about what's going on. Somebody's been lying for the longest time. And it's like, if, if, if and I feel like somebody's been caught, caught in a lie or been caught cheating before. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so where does this go for the Libra couple? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Libra couples. Libra. Calling in your soulmate. Like I said, for some of you, you have a sacred bond with somebody. For some of you, somebody could be drawn away from this relationship to deal with their soulmate. Or to deal with somebody that they have a sacred bond with. Okay, let's clarify what this is about. Or for some of you, you guys are soulmates. You guys are connected. You have a soul tie. And if that's the case, then this person, even though they may have left temporarily, they'll be back. For some of you, that's the case. Let's see. Clarify this calling in your soulmate card. What does this mean? Give me one second. What does this calling in your soulmate mean? Passion. Oops. And at the bottom of the deck is reconciliation. And what is this one? Is this causing my is pulling my attention retreat so this is just what i said confirmation you guys may retreat for a while you guys may pull away for a while and then i'm saying you may reconcile or like i said the bottom line is somebody's returning to somebody that they have a sacred bond with if it's not you it may be the other person but don't get it confused don't get it misconstrued because like i said i see a karmic type of relationship but i also see a sacred bond type of relationship you got two both scenarios wrapped up in this so they may be drawn out of this relationship to go and sleep with somebody else and this is why they're distant retreating from you pulling away because they um but bottom line is I see a reconciliation. Both storylines are here. So if they're not reconciling with you, then they may be reconciling with someone else. And the letter G, whether it's their first name or middle initial, whether even if it's the third party, the letter G is significant for some of you, that's the case. Let's look into this for the singles. So that was for the couples, single sun, moon, rising, and Venus, single Libras, and their cross watchers. Libra, single Libras. All right. And some of you, this is a continuation of what we just talked about because I'm saying like some of you could be getting out of a relationship where you're just settling. You know you're not happy, but you're just kind of like deciding to settle for second best. And you're realizing that that was a mistake. And some of you, no doubt that if this is you, Libra, you could be the air sign in the scenario or you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Gemini, I believe I said that. It's also the case for the singles. Looks like there's some curiosity um, and it looks like somebody may wanna strike up a conversation with you and this could no doubt be somebody that is online. Um, could be a Pisces, so this could be an Aquarius Pisces cusp. Yeah, like it's looking good so far. So you may start something new on the rebound, no doubt. Because that's why I'm, that's what I, I want to emphasize that you're getting out of one relationship and hopping into the next one. If it's not you, then it's your partner. That this is like a continuation, like I said from the previous um, story. If you're getting into a relationship on the rebound, this is this could be kind of confusing. So it's going to be important for you to take things slow. Okay, so uh, somebody that you could be getting involved with. Yes, this is definitely a continuation of the previous story. Somebody is married or hasn't figured out what they wanna do with their marriage. Bottom line is somebody is still, they have not completely let go of a previous situation or they haven't completely tied up those loose ends with somebody else. And this could look pretty good at first first because it looks like you're very happy and it looks like things are going along pretty good but it's like you're detecting something 
no doubt yes like i said you may be talking to this person online maybe you guys are really the communication is really there and it's looking like you're getting good and quick responses from this person at first who could be a leo okay so this means that you might need to look into something you might need to look closer at a situation because it looks like either you're pulling away or they begin to pull away all of a sudden. Like I said, there's a lot of communication between the two of you there. Their responses are really quick. It looks like you guys are really settling down and it looks like this might be somebody that you could possibly marry. Okay, so there it is. This person is dealing with you and they're dealing with somebody else. <laughs> just got the devil right here clarifying it they got you and they've got somebody else that they're dealing with there's definitely some temptation because they may be talking to you and there may be somebody that looks really good to them and they're definitely tempted there's some temptation out there and that could be why this person is giving off like begins to um give off this very confusing type of energy where they're pulling away and they're kind of in and out of your life. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. And I said, Le yep, strength card is here. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, what am I saying? This person could be in and out of your life, back and forth, like I said, in the couples reading, somebody could go back and forth between the two of you. What they are bringing in, this could be somebody with that has a kid. That, Like I said, they could have a kid with you. They could have a kid with somebody else. Uh, this person comes with a lot of lies. They're lying to you about somebody else. So like I said, they could be two-timing you. Well, they could be dealing with multiple people. And that might be something that they're deceiving you about. I did another reading that is very similar to this. And I don't remember which one it was. I believe it was another air sign reading. Yeah. Okay. But no doubt this could be somebody that could be going coming back to clear the air with you or they're going back to clear the air with maybe somebody that they do have a kid with because I'm saying like somebody could be denying a child or somebody is not providing for a child financially or emotionally so this person that you may be getting to know like I said it may seem like a very fairy tale type of situation at first then you might figure out what type of lifestyle this person is in. Be careful not to get caught up because it looks like you guys may end this and you may decide to be single. Or this is spirit saying, make sure this person is really single and available. Make sure that you take it slow and that you don't take it very quickly. And then you find out when you're in the thick of this romance, that somebody is not available and they've been lying to you all along. Somebody is a good manipulator. Somebody talks a good game. So be careful, Libra or cross watcher. So for those of you who are in the getting to know you stages, I have a feeling that this is going to be very similar to what it is we just read, but we're going to look at it anyway. Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Those of you who are getting to know somebody, yep, for some of you, it's a fire sign. And... You may be getting out of a relationship where somebody really hurt you. Mm -mm. You, like, again, be careful. Like, you might be, some of you could be getting out of a relationship, like I said, with somebody that is very, like, uh, uses their words as weapons. I guess that's, that's the best way that I can put it. All right. What's it call you, Gemini? Libra. You could be getting into a relationship with somebody that, um, I don't know, they like to have a good time. They may take you out on a date. They may like to eat. Somebody that likes to live it up. They like to enjoy life. But this person could be um, like very emotional. Ah, uh, yikes. All right. Let's see why. Okay. All right. This relationship looks like it could possibly... 
not relationship, because you're not really in a relationship. You're kind of like in a gray area with somebody. For some of you, this is somebody that has kids too. Doesn't have to be the case. Um, I did mention, uh, did I mention Aries and Pisces? All right. Either way, bottom line is you may, <sighs> okay. Is at first everything looks good yeah or this could just be you guys getting into a relationship rather quickly but what's kind of throwing me off is the ace of cups is in reverse and the tower is here so like i said at first things may begin to look really good between you and a virgo or an aries but over time, you may realize that this person just really isn't giving enough. You, you might be starting to wonder, are my efforts really where they need to be? Am I putting my efforts in the right place? Does this person deserve my effort? They're not really giving as much type of thing as what I'm getting. Over time, you may feel like you get to know that you may clash with this person. And you may feel like you're walking on eggshells with this person. Like I said, this person could be very emotional. Maybe more emotional than you. Um, there's definitely some lies here. And it looks like you guys may really get into it because you may find out that this person, just like we all do, we all have flaws, but this person does definitely have flaws. You might find out that this person is very selfish and could be very aloof. Okay, so if... if Okay, one person is emotional, the other person is aloof. So what I'm getting from this is one of you may look at the other one as clingy, very emotional, and somebody may be second guessing their decision to maybe leave their kids behind or somebody that they have with kids with. And bottom line is possibly even with an Aquarius, this relationship may, may collapse. because it looks like there could be a third party situation and be careful Libra or cross watcher that you don't leave this relationship feeling hurt because it could be you that gets hurt in the end. Why? Somebody has a wife or kids or an ex-wife. See, somebody is manipulating the situation, making it seem like they're... In other words, somebody has a very public persona and then behind closed doors or somebody else. This could be somebody in the public eye for some of you. This Sagittarius is highlighted for some of you. Yes, they are dealing with multiple people. And I did say water, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Virgo is highlighted here. Yep, somebody is only, only has you around because they wanna sleep with you. But promise, I promise you somebody is married or they have ties with somebody else that they haven't finished dealing with. So over time, you may end up releasing yourself from this person. And this brutal honesty, may this, this using words as weapons may have something to do with you telling them off when you find out the truth. Because I'm feeling like you may stop talking to this person and that might be where this relationship is. A wrap where it collapses because you are dealing with someone who's dealing with multiple people. They have multiple multiple situations going on lying to you about it so yeah this is very similar to the singles so bottom line is don't let somebody manipulate you string you along get to know somebody's true colors before you really maybe link up with them and get into a relationship because somebody is not really available and could just turn out to be using you I promise you I got something similar for Pisces and you got Pisces here highlighted in this reading. So Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the, or what is it, what, show me Pisces. Those of those that are talking to somebody and getting in the getting to know you stages, where does this go? Pisces, the Libra, you just say that getting to know each other love yourself first because you deserve love if that isn't as obvious as it gets and if that doesn't confirm everything we've been talking about don't 
feel the need to doctor somebody, to change somebody, to babysit their faults or to babysit whatever, uh, an adult. Because that's kind of what I'm getting, like you're a babysitting and I mean, I don't want to come off as being insulting. Um, but I'm a very blunt person. That's what I see. So I have to call it like I see it. You're getting to know somebody or this is spirit saying, take the time to get to know somebody because it may not work out. And you may end up leaving this and it's about loving yourself first and putting some putting forth some shadow work on yourself. And like I said, children are highlighted here. So this could definitely be somebody with children. So let's get into the general part of your reading. So I'm feeling like something in your life could be very overwhelming, Libra, and it may be your work. Some of you may work in the beauty industry or you may work online or you may work in an environment where maybe, I don't know, like your appearance is highlighted or your appearance is relevant to what you do. I see you working very hard. I see you climbing the ladder of success here. And no doubt some of you are dealing with a Leo or you have Leo in your chart. So things could be very good for you. I see like a very productive time, but I'm seeing like there's a need to, to be relaxed and slow. Take it slow. This just looks like that's the overall energy of your reading is take it slow. Uh, Libra, work could be overwhelming and it might be a good time for you to surrender because I feel like that's the overall also what, what spirit is saying time to surrender to some things yeah it looks like you're definitely climbing the ladder to success it looks like you're very happy feeling very fulfilled um you're climbing I don't feel like you've reached the pinnacle yet but it does look like maybe you are kind of this is not supposed to be a career reading but I, I guess it's turning into that bear with me it's supposed to be general but Oh, good on you, Libra. Like the things are looking good for you. Looks like things are on the like like on the upswing for you. Um, you may like I said, you haven't reached the pinnacle. There may be some people, maybe you're kind of pulling back and not really socializing as much, maybe in general or just at work. And yeah, maybe there's you're not really talking a lot. Some people may see you as very aloof. But I mean, you're definitely shining on your success. That's why I promise you some of you have to be in the public eye or you do something online. Um, maybe money hasn't come in yet. Maybe money is not really okay, but it's coming in. If you haven't seen it, trust and believe with the Ten of Pentacles, some money is about to be rolling in for you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, like... All right, so what I see, like some of you, this if this is you owning your own business, since we're talking about online, um, okay, get to that in a minute. Make sure I don't forget about that. If you have an online business, some of you, you are doing your own thing online. Some of you, this is not an online business, but it looks like I said, the bottom line is things are looking good for you. Um, and the people are very drawn to you. Even on the dating scene, people are really taking notice of you. You really stand out in your environment, if this is work, if this is in general. It looks like you've been having some money problems. Got something similar for Leo with money problems. You might be waiting for some money to roll in and maybe it just hasn't yet, but I'm seeing like it is. And when it does come in, like I, we're talking about slow and relaxed energy, Promise you, yes, this is online. So some of you are on social media, like you are on YouTube, you're on Facebook, you're on Instagram type of thing. Um, or this could be like where you're wanting to be. Some of you do want to be in the public eye. Anyway, money is not really um, steady for some of you. But then when it does, it rolls in. This could be a raise. It could be a promotion situation where you're kind of high, highly esteemed. It looks like your focus is absolutely on your career because it looks like you're definitely making the effort when it comes to your career. So some of you are very career driven, very career focused. 
but it does look to me that there are some things that you're healing from or that there is a need to heal from some things. It could be that you're very career focused and maybe you're not really focused on shadow work right now because it looks like career could be taking precedence in your life because like I said, this wasn't supposed to turn into a career reading, but that is obviously what's highlighted here. Bottom line is it looks like things are really looking good for you, but there is a need to pay attention to some shadow work. But it's like there's so many pentacles in this reading. That's why I'm saying like this is all about money and about success. Be careful that this doesn't turn into like a materialistic type of situation because um, looks like it, there's a need for balance. If that's the case, it does look like there's a need to heal from some things and maybe cut off certain people. And perhaps you did. And maybe that's why you're kind of a loner right now. Um, there could be some people lying about you or this is you. Could be you, Libra, that's doing the lying. Could be you that's very emotional over something or someone, or there could be an event that happens where somebody maybe tries to blow up your spot and spread slander or lies about you, and it causes you to become very emotional. Some of you may have some regrets about a past situation. Um, and there could definitely be some fears about love. When it comes to love, there may be some subconscious fears that you're dealing with. And there may be somebody that you refuse to go back to that maybe sends you a message that kind of throws you off. Or this is somebody that you dealt with in the past where something was a blow to your self-esteem involving this person. Or this could just be an isolated incident where something happens that kind of throws you off, that makes you feel very emotional. It could be something about a message. This could be like if some of you are online, there could be a troll that, that says something that really sets you off. That's what we're talking about, shadow work. It's going to be a need to go within mm -hmm, and love yourself first. That's why I guess this was highlighted here. You may be very career driven and very career focused, but there may be something that comes up, Libra, that causes you to realize that, yeah, I got to focus on me. I got to focus on my own family issues and I may need to forgive myself type of thing about something that may have played out. But pr I promise you there's somebody that wants to give this relationship a chance and it's going to be up to you about whether or not you are um, really up for that or you may want to give a relationship a chance. Now, when I say relationship, this could be a relationship with your mother because some of you may have had a fractured relationship with your own mother. For some of you, you have a fractured relationship with your kid and this could be a relationship that you may decide to give a chance. For some of you, this is somebody that you co-parent children with. There could be somebody that's coming to see you and who is highlighted here is a Scorpio. This could be somebody that you have some deep-seated issues with, possibly a Taurus or an air sign. Or this could just simply be some signs that you have in dominant in your chart. Or these could be naming off some people that may be um, coming back to maybe heal something with you. But there's definitely a cheater somewhere in the equation, possibly somebody that you built a family with that could be a Leo. Or this could just be you having an aspiration to have kids. You're like, I want a family. I want kids. I want to be married type of thing. But I don't want to deal with the emotional hangups of a relationship type of thing is what I kind of get for you. Libra. Let's look at the overall advice for the Libras. Librans, give me one quick second, Libra. Step out of the frame, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The advice, Holy Spirit, for the Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Libra. Past life. Ooh, good, good, good. This situation involves your past life memories. For some of you that are open to the concept of reincarnation, we talked about karmic relationships. We talked about sacred bond type of relationships, soulmate. Some of you are no doubt encountering a past life person that maybe you had a very difficult time with in the past life and maybe these energies pop up to the surface, sacred space. 
create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. I believe I got this for Aquarius, not this card, but for the per like Aquarius, there's a need to um, confide or connect with your creator is what I said, or whomever you believe in spiritually. That's your ancestors building an altar for them or whatever this is, whatever this is significant, whatever this signifies for you as far as spirituality and making that connection spirit is, is, is inviting you to look into that inner wisdom you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay use that inner wisdom use your intuition it's built into you it's not absent from you it's not like your intuition is something that you have to go searching for it's there within you it's innate so spirit is saying listen to take the time that's probably why it's saying build an altar or visit a sacred space in all their words spirit is saying take some time to go within and listen to what your heart is telling you what is your intuition telling you and they're saying once you get the answers to that once you get the clarity that you're looking for they're saying take action on that don't sleep on your intuition don't doubt your intuition don't downplay it it's there for a reason spirit is saying use it follow it that's what i got for you guys libras Thank you so very much for joining me today. I hope that this reading helped you guys. If you'd like to book a personal with me, Libra, you can find me on uh, my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. You can find me here on YouTube, of course. So if you decide that, that I'm the type of reader that vibes with you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss an upload of when I uh, upload for you or your sign. Uh, you or your cross watcher sign, rather. Um, thanks Libra for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you for the second half of September. Um, take good care. Bye for now and peace.